Hello, hi, my name is Annie Balogo, CEO of Life's Beauty Range and also the editor of Beauty Overdose Magazine. I'm introducing to you right now my favorite person in the world, Dr. Njakari Damages. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages, the first. Hey. Yeah, yeah. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York is so great that a high court judge has thrown away our mayor's effort to ban large bottles of soda. Whoa. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you can clap, you can clap because um, mm -hmm. the judge said he did not understand the rationale behind the ban. And I agree with the judge. The mayor wanted nobody in New York City to drink soda in a bottle that is taller than, than him. You know, the, the mayor is very small. <laughs> That's not fair. I know what you are saying. Was that where your eyes were when everybody was looking at the world's most important chimney? Hey. Yeah, 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 I get it. In a shift unexpected by many, the conclave elected an Argentine cardinal as our new pope. Cardinal George Mario Begoglio. Super Mario! Yeah! He chose the name Francis Juan as his new name. Mm -hmm. yeah? it, it is the first time in the history of the Catholic Church that a non-European is elected Pope. Wow. Mm -hmm. At last, churches in Europe have a good reason to completely close their door. <laughs> Finish. It's over. The new Pope is a breath of fresh air for Catholics all over the world. Yep, yep, yep. Not, not like the other one in Nigeria. <laughs> He's a humble man and a gentleman of God. Unlike Benedict, who was a member of the Nazi group, this new pope only helped the army in Argentina to oppress some radical priests. We, we, we can live with that. We can live with that. <laughs> As a bishop in Argentina, he took the bus to work. He rejected his, uh, his limo. Wow. And he refused to live in the bishop's mansion. He even cooked for himself. Wow. Now, now, that is causing a lot of panic in the Vatican. So, my crack reporters have obtained a copy of the new Pope's master plan for the first 100 days in office. Wow, what's yeah, what's he has a master plan, yeah. Wow. Pope Francis wants to rent out the Vatican. He's renting it out. What? And he will live in an apartment on top of a pizza, a pizza store in Rome. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his plan, yeah. Already, some Italian mafia members have indicated interest in renting the Vatican. Yeah. The, the godfather himself, uh, yeah, uh, Tony Montana, <laughs> said he could, he could remodel the place to fit his test. And then he will throw a party for his boys, homeboys, uh, inside his Sistine Chapel. <laughs> also, also, the new pope is planning to throw away the pope mobile. He, he doesn't want that, that vehicle. He wants to, he wants to move in uh, Molloy. Molloy. <laughs> Molloy. Molloy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Pope also is, uh, is selling the, the plane, the, the, the Pope's plane, private jet. Yeah. And I understand that a Nigerian uh, billionaire, Alibaba, Ali is the one that he picked. He made sure that none of these uh, oil block owners are buying the, oh, good, the good. Pope's plane. Yeah. So, so that's the plan and we, we have it, the, the master plan of the Pope. This week, it was also revealed that the Pope has only one lung. Hmm? Don't you feel it? Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. He saw that lung was removed when he was a teenager due to an infection. Wow. Yeah, oh, so sad. Doctors are saying that it may be the reason why he has a lot of interest in the poor. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And if that continues, if he continues to take care of the poor as Pope, Africans may have to remove the lungs of all their presidents. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them with one lung. Maybe they will care about the poor. Uh, yeah. Now, why Catholics in Latin America are rejoicing? For having one of their own as Pope, African Catholics are once again disappointed. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, none of the African candidates made it beyond the first ballot. Too bad. Yeah. But there is hope, there is hope. According to insiders, the ultimate plan is to get an African Pope. Yeah, yeah that's the plan of the church. But first, the church wants to sh a soft landing for European members. Mm -hmm. You know, the church doesn't want the Europeans to, to go from kissing the hand of a Nazi to kissing the hand of a black man. Oh. So, so now, they will, they, that would be too traumatic. The goal is to have them kiss the hand of 
a South American. Mm -hmm. And after mm -hmm. that, that of an African. <laughs> so don't despair, don't, don't lose hope. If you live for another five to 10 years, you see that happen. Hey. Just make sure you, you tell people that I said it. <laughs> I said it first. Now, now, the modern world is getting scary. There is an African in the White House, mm -hmm. a South American in the Vatican. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. What is next? A Rastafarian in Buckingham Palace? <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe an evil man in Asurok? <laughs> ah, no, that, that will never happen. <laughs> to fear <them. laughs> There was so much drama during the electoral process. Governments across the world were having strategic meetings because what happens in the Vatican affects the, the, the sale of condoms all over the world. <laughs> when black smoke kept coming out the chimney, the U.S. Vice President Joe Biden went to President Obama and said, look, give me permission to go there and cast the breaking votes. <laughs> Even Dennis Rodman traveled to the Vatican to vote for the Ghanaian Cardinal, you know? Hey. Unfortunately, Rodman couldn't pass the gate because of those rings all over his body. He was tripping the metal dictator. <laughs> now, another reason why an African Pope failed to emerge was that Africa's choice of returning officer, Mr. Maurice Wu, was denied visa to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> now, in Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan, quite unlike him, did not fold his hands either. <laughs> he, was, he was pursuing a plan for a potential story of redemption. Wow. So he put together a collection of ex-convicts and granted them pardon. <laughs> yeah, now people who do not understand our president said that the pardon showed that he was not interested in the fight against corruption. Come on, nothing could be further from the truth. The president is preparing a major assault on all the thieves in his government. That's right. Mm -hmm. He simply wants to make them feel that there is pardon after conviction. <laughs> so, Jonathan Pardon General Deere. The crying general, remember him? Yeah. Yeah. When the general heard the news, he put on his uniform and then cried one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan also pardoned his political godfather, former governor, DSP Alamesia. Hey. Yeah, the Ijo general. Now, Alamesia is heading to London where his arrest warrant is still open. Uh -oh. He said that he wants to visit London to check out the roadworthiness of his pardon. <laughs> As a precaution, he packed in his uh, luggage a skirt and blouse and uh, eye pencil and uh, gala. <laughs> Another fellow packing his things for travel is uh, Two Faced Dibia. Mm. After a traditional wedding last week in Aquaibum, the hip hop star is heading to Dubai for an Arabian wedding. <laughs> Two first received gifts of two brand SUVs. Hey. Yeah, SUVs, two brand new SUVs from one of his greatest groupies, mm. the governor of Aquaibom State, Mr. What? Ababio. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, two first is used to groupies who offer their bodies to him. <laughs> but this groupie offered cash and cars. Wow. The hip hop -up star said he was not decided if he would accept the gifts. Mm. Now, now imagine this, if he has been thinking things over like this, he wouldn't have all these children he has all over the places with his groupies. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I I'm getting a message. He accepted the gift? What? What? I, I knew that that man was just doing shakara. <laughs> eh? Have you all seen this day's newspaper list of indigenous owners of oil blocks? Uh -huh. yeah. No. No? Have you? You have to check it out. You need to. Your relation may be rich and you may not know it. Mm -hmm. And you are hanging out here poor and I'm hungry. <laughs> so there is one Jackery on the list. Whoa. Yeah, I saw one in Jackery. I need, I need to figure it out. I don't know yet. So I, I expect you guys to start respecting me a little bit now. <laughs> now, here are the news making headlines in Nigerian newspapers this week. NMPC owes the federal government 142.7 billion in unremitted funds. Yeah. People, please, please, reserve your judgment. First and foremost, let's check the handbag of the Ziani Alice in Madeke. Yep, yep. I I'm sure yep. that she's bringing the money over to the government. <laughs> now, 
Oil is not Nigeria's greatest asset, says U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria. Hey. Oh yeah, eh? So, when is Chevron returning its oil blocks and investing in those other assets, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Right, Ambassador? That's right. That's right. Saudi Arabia to abolish beheading due to shortage of swordsmen. Oh, oh why now? Why? <laughs> we get them plenty, eh? Come and hire some from Boko Haram. We have experts. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> Pastor Benny Hinn remarries former wife after two years separation. Yeah. yeah. Finally, Benny Hinn performs his first authentic uh, miracle. Yeah. <laughs> We've been waiting for that miracle. Finally, he did. <laughs> Bauchi abolishes corporal punishment in schools. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. But then they still reserve the rights of principals to perform virginity tests on girls. Hey. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Tune to Dike drops new single, JJ. <laughs> oh Lord. I hope you have woes in your ears. With a single drop, boom. She can break your eardrums. Yes. <laughs> Taiwo Ogunjobi says, my wife arrested me with her beauty. Wow. <laughs> my man, watch out, watch out. Another man is coming to bail you out. <laughs> Police arrest Senator Yerema over alleged inciting statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, about time. However, <laughs> he is free to marry as many 12-year-old girls as he wants. What? <laughs> Plot to shoot down Jonathan's plane foiled. Whoa. I see, I see. Was that why some people welcomed him to Medugri with frown faces? <laughs> <laughs> I will never let you down, says President Jonathan. <laughs> help me, help me laugh. Eh? I told you that other than being a zookeeper, that man could be a comedian too. That's right, that's right. Be a comedian. <laughs> it's time for your emails. Yeah. Why are you not uh, wearing your uniform? My uniform is dirty, doctor. Oh, I'm supposed to wash it for you? Hey, now that you have the oil block, you can hire somebody to wash it for me. Uh, is it my, you and I owning the oil block? My <laughs> bullet <laughs> bucket off your head. I too can have an assistant. Hey, look at me. Oh. But let's get to the emails. And is, what is this, a bank? Hey. Jesus. What is, this guy in Russia has taken my people. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Read the emails. Okay. Our first email is from Ken in St. Paul. Ken, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Damages, I'm a fan of your show and also that of Adiola, keeping it real. But I think Adiola is adorable while you're just mean. She's like Jay Leno. Why do you like David Letterman? Is it intentional or are you just mean like that? Ken, Ken, I don't know where you are seeing these differences. Jelena looks at women the same way David Letterman looks at women. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference between Dr. Damages and keep it, Keeping It Real is that one starts with Mayoga at the top to the uh, Mayoga at the bottom. Why the other one start with Mayoga at the bottom? To Mayoga at the top. That's it. No other thing. The one that we are going to make use of. Is going, to, is going to be made known by my ogre at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Our second email is from Yusuf in Kano, Nigeria. Okay. Damages, I write a blog and I want Arofai to promote my blog the way he promotes other young people's blogs. What do I need to do to get his attention? Oh, Yusuf, I, I, I don't know what you've tried, but um, it, it, it works if you can lick his uh, footsteps, you know? It helps, but mm. the other thing you can do is to embrace his shadow. Um, let, let me see. Um, oh, oh, I have a better idea. Can you buy 10, no, no, 10 is too small, 100 copies of his novel, that, that his novel, uh, 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 Accidental Public Servant. Once you buy it, he will promote your blog. <laughs> Go ahead, next. Our third email is from Tofik. Tofik, okay. He wrote, I am standing here attached a commentary on saving Nigeria, even as the preparation towards 2015 election picks up the pace. I hope you will find space to publish it. Thank you. Do you Use have it? it? Yeah, right here. He, he wants me to publish it? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to fix. 
is published. Consider it published. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next. Our fourth email is from Lukman Alim in Netherlands. This is my first time writing you, Dr. Damages. I really enjoyed your counterfeit Harlem shake with your local dance steps with your colleagues. My advice to you is to suggest Harlem Shake to Baba Yebo instead of dancing gangman style or to those people in lower and upper house since they do not have appropriate bills to pass and Mr. President will be your coordinator. Thank you, Lukman. I like your, I like your email so much. And uh, I went to Obasanjo to see if um, he will try the Harlem Shake. Here is what happened when I went there. <laughs> All right. Go Our ahead. fifth email is from Jaffa from Kano, Nigeria. Dear Dr. Damages, I could not find episode 79 on YouTube. Perhaps you should set up a committee to look up into another committee that will investigate the reason YouTube removed your show. <laughs> What's his name again? Jaffa. Jaffa, I know you. Yeah, you are my friend. You know, it's so funny. I, I had the same problem last week. I, I wanted to check Dr. Damages and I, I couldn't. And I set up a committee and the, the, the report came back to me. It says that I should stop smoking that thing I smoke. That was why I couldn't see Dr. Damages on YouTube. Um, I, will, I will advise you to also stop smoking that thing you smoke. <laughs> that way you'll be able to type because I couldn't, I couldn't spell doctor. That was why. Any other email? That, that's no, all that's the time it. we have. That's all the time we have for emails. Until next week, keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. My concern for today. If your name is not on the list of oil block owners of Nigeria, O, B, O, N, don't worry. Keep drinking sand soaked in vegetable oil. But every now and then, drink some cement mix, you know. One day, you will get an oil block at the other end. Hey. You know what I mean? That's our show for today. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.